Hey what's up guys, if you've just recently upgraded Adobe Premiere Pro from 2017 to 2018 and you're now having trouble exporting audio, then this video is for you. So long story short, I was using Premiere 2017 for quite some time without any problems, but as soon as I upgraded to 2018, I was having trouble with audio during export, and sometimes I would get one track that would get exported, other times I would get audio from certain clips that would get exported, sometimes I wouldn't get anything. So I tried a bunch of things. I tried emptying the media cache folders as recommended by Adobe. I tried deleting the files manually. I tried uninstalling Premiere and reinstalling it. I tried creating a new project and re-importing everything. I tried making a new sequence and using that instead. But nothing worked and I wasted countless hours of time. So finally, late last night, right before I was about to give up and go to bed, I found a workaround. So let me show you how that works. Alright, here we go. So I have a pretty simple project loaded up in Premiere. As you can see, I have a few tracks here including some audio tracks and all this is is a little bit of footage from Overwatch nothing crazy so all we have to do is come up here go to file go to export media as usual and instead of using H.264 here all I'm going to do is come down and choose QuickTime for video codec this is important what I found works for me is Apple ProRes 422 over here click match source that should get your source correct or if you need to edit it manually you always can I always use maximum render quality but that's a separate issue altogether uh, for audio I'm using uncompressed audio that seems to work fine and you know you can choose whatever else you need to here one stereo output channel here seems to work fine and then just go to export now this is going to make your file size a little bit larger, and that means it's going to take longer to upload. But that's the price we have to pay right now until Adobe comes out with a fix for this. Now I'm assuming that you're exporting with H.264 because that's the YouTube recommendation, but if you're having trouble with other export formats, give this a try. So I hope this helps. You know, until Adobe fixes this, this is probably what you're going to have to do. Anyway, that's all from me. If this helped you out, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.